Welcome back to the second part of my video on chain maintenance on the Harley Davidson Pan America. In my last video, I went through the process that I use to clean and lubricate the chain. In this video, I'll be walking through how to check your chain slack to make sure that it is properly adjusted, how to make that adjustment if you need to, as well as how to verify that the rear axle is in alignment. Uh, so let's get started. Go ahead and show you the tools that you'll need to complete this job. For checking your chain slack, the only thing you really need is a tape measure. Now, I also like to use micrometer, some painter's tape, and a pen. Now, if we need to adjust the chain, the tools that we'll need for that include 36 and 32 millimeter deep sockets, Instead of a 36 millimeter socket, if you already have a belt drive Harley, you may already have one of these 36 millimeter wrenches that you can use. Half inch drive breaker bar and ratchet. And half inch drive torque wrench. So when you're measuring how much slack your chain has, you want to do that at a point midway between the front and rear sprocket. So it's going to be between the rear axle and your front sprocket's right behind this cover. So we'll go ahead and just kind of eye that up here. That's just shy of 30 inches. Half of 30 is 15, right? So we will do this. We'll just put a little piece of tape right about there. Yep, that'll do it. So the spec for the chain slack with the bike up on the center stand is between 50 to 60 millimeters. Okay. What I like to do is using a tape measure like this that I can sit on the floor. And then we take some painter's tape. Now I'm going to put a piece of tape right here and then with my calipers and these are just cheap Harbor Freight specials you don't need to spend a lot of money for this measure out 50 millimeters right about there okay so first off we'll put a mark about there okay we'll measure 50 millimeters up from there okay there's 50 and then we'll measure 60. There, 60 mil. So then from our same line here that we had, like so. So our goal is to have our chain slack in between these two lines. Now I just take my tape measure, I'm going to put it behind, and we bring it up, right, we're lined up in that midpoint that we measured, and I got my line behind the chain here, and you can see my chain slack's pretty good, right, I'm coming up right in between those lines. Like I said, I did this not too long ago, so my slack is still good to go. So this video wouldn't be all that helpful if I just ended it right here. I'm going to go ahead and walk through adjusting this chain just so that you can see the process for that. The right hand side of the bike is the 36 millimeter. So I'm just going to put my wrench over there to hold. 
And then the left hand side is our 32 millimeter. So I'll put my breaker bar there. And first we just need to loosen up this axle. We'll switch to the ratchet. All right, so that is nice and loose. So I forgot one tool when I was laying them all out earlier, and that is a half inch wrench that we'll need to actually uh, turn the adjusters. If I turn and tighten this adjuster, it's gonna pull the axle back, tightening the chain. If I loosen the adjuster, it's gonna allow the axle to move forward to loosen the chain. Now it's important to always make equal adjustments on both sides. There's an adjuster on the right hand side of the bike and it doesn't take a whole lot of movement to make a significant adjustment to the chain. So I typically, what I do is I count the flats, right? The flat section and I move one flat at a time depending on which way I need to go. And I'm going to tighten one flat, right? I turned it so that the flat that was here, flat side here, is now facing up. Now we need to do the same thing on the other side. Turn so that this flat that's here on the side is up. There we go, one flat. Okay, by just making that one adjustment, my chain, where before I was coming up midway between my marks, now I'm just barely under that mark. So that's too tight, okay? So let's say you're adjusting your chain, you've accidentally adjusted it too tight, okay? Now we need to loosen it back out. All right, we're gonna come out. We'll do two flats, okay? One. Two. And don't forget, same thing over here. One. Two. All right, so now that I've backed it out a bit, I'm right at the top of that looseness range. Which, to be honest, if you were checking and you're right up there, that's not bad. Um, because it's better for the chain to be a little bit on the looser side than on the tighter side. And the reason for that is when the, the chain is too loose, really, you just don't want to be so loose to the point that there's a risk that it's going to come off the sprocket or skip a tooth, okay? But when it's too tight, now you're limiting suspension movement, and especially on a bike like this that has a lot of suspension travel, as this back wheel is moving up and down and this chain's moving, if this chain's too tight, you're gonna to get to a point where the suspension has not yet bottomed out, but the chain is preventing it from moving any further. And that's gonna put more, one, it's gonna limit your suspension travel and throw off, you know, and make it not handle as well. But it's also going to put more stress and wear and tear on the chain as it's constantly pulling and stretching on it. So when you're looking at the range, if you're on the higher side of the range, that's okay. Oh boy, look at this. We are way too loose. Right? From our mark, we're going well above the top end of the spec there. And I also just so that I can show you, as I was loosening the axle, I did one side a few too many turns, right? So as we're making those adjustments, we want to be making sure that we adjust each side evenly. But what if you make a mistake? Or what if somebody else before you made these chain adjustments and you don't know if this wheel is aligned properly? Because if I pull back on one side more than the other, right, the wheel's no longer going to be in line with the motorcycle. So let me show you one way that we can check that. Now the ultimate way to check and verify your alignment is to measure the distance between the front of the swing arm pivot, 
pivot and a rear axle, right? So you'd want to be measuring kind of like that on both sides of the bike. Now, this side of the bike is not too difficult to do, okay? The other side of the bike has the muffler in the way, and I have a bracket, right? So what else can we do to uh, measure that accurately? And this is where my cheap Harbor Freight calipers come back in. So what I like to do, especially on the Pan Am here, the Pan Am has this nice smooth machine surface here on the swing arm. And so if you take a straight piece of metal, okay, and I can hold it against that surface, now I got something that I can take really good measurements with. I can measure to the inside front of that axle, right, to the outside edge of that piece of metal I'm holding and that gives me 30.4 you know 30 and a half millimeters we'll do the same thing here twenty nine point three compared to thirty and a half on the other side so we have less distance this way meaning the axle is too far forward we want to bring it back. Tighten this in. All right, 29.8, we're not quite there. One other tip as you're making these adjustments, so when you tighten to pull the axle back, those adjusters are pulling the axle back, everything's staying nice and tight. As you loosen, the adjusters to let the axle go forward, it's not necessarily going to go forward just because you loosened it. Take a rag, put it on the chain, spin it around, let it get caught in between the chain and the sprockets, give it a good couple twists like that, because then what that is doing, it is pulling, it's going to pull the axle, the, the sprocket and the axle forward against those adjusters to make sure everything's there nice and tight. So do that before you're taking your measurements. You need to make sure that you're checking both sides because things that you do on the one side can throw off the other. So we just need to keep going back and making these adjustments to make sure we get back in alignment. Thirty point five, I think we got it. All right, so now that we got the axle back in alignment, we need to double check our slack so that we can get that set. And you can see we are way loose. Well, I wouldn't say way loose, but a good bit looser than we should be. Now that we know that we have our axle in alignment, we can just go ahead and tighten that chain, making sure that we turn each adjuster evenly on both sides. there one there oh, need more That's good to go right there. Okay, now that our chain slack is properly adjusted, we need to tighten the axle back down. So we'll hold this side with our 36 mil. Let's tighten it up. Take our breaker bar, put our 36 mil socket this side torque spec for the axle nut is 95 to 105 foot pounds so we'll split the difference and go for a hundred
All right, and it's always good to double check after everything is tightened up. There we go, I'd say we're right in the middle, maybe just a hair over midway on being in spec. All right, the chain on this Pan American motorcycle is all good to go and this bike is ready to hit the road again. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.